Hey guys, Beast here, and I wanted to go over a piece of motorcycle equipment, a very essential piece of equipment, um, today with you called Moto Skivvies. And if you would have asked me a couple years ago if I'd ever be doing a review on underwear, um, you would have got a different answer than you're getting today. But I um, wanted to go over this product. It's very cool. Uh, it's very well thought out. And it's been performing uh, quite well. Let's dive into some of the features, shall we? All right, now this garment was designed after very popular um, bicycling shorts. Not only for long-term fatigue being on a bicycle seat, but for chafing, moisture management, you know, good wicking material. So you're going to see starting at the top, big wide band to take the pressure off. There's no sort of tags or stickers. All the stitching is flat locked, so you're not going to be raised edges to create any chafing anywhere. Um, even the little sort of pocket for your business up front is a double layered. If you're used to like a um, an anti chafing or non non blister hiking sock, uh, it's a double layered system. And there's a couple spots on here that are like that, so that the fabric actually moves instead of moving against your skin to create any chafing. Now I've not really had any issues in that area, but um, I could certainly see where it would be an issue on uh, certain trips. Um, my biggest complaint with this garment is that there is no active fly uh, situation here. And I think even with um, the double layer, you could open one end and in the other, like an overlapping um, piece of fabric, just like you would do on any other pair of boxers. Because it's, um, you know, if you're motorcycling in inclement weather, you've got a lot of different layers and gear on, and you've got to pull over to the side of the road. Sometimes you just need to uh, be able to get to your business without having to pull everything down. Um, but that's it. That's really my biggest complaint. Um, everything else on here is fantastic. Now let's dive in to see what exactly makes this different than just ordering uh, just some bicycling shorts. Well, here's the main difference, and it's going to be in the padding inside here. So the construction is phenomenal. All the materials are great. Uh, but what they did is they actually looked at your seating position. So this is the adventure uh, version. There is a sort of uh, cruiser version and a sport bike version. And the reason for that is because you're going to be in a different seating position, leaned over and putting different pressure on different parts of your body. So uh, the Adventure one covers a lot of just sort of standard neutral riding position. Uh, you're going to get sort of inner thigh protection onto here, as well as your sort of sit bones, uh, your actual hips in here, um, where if you're more of a feet forward cruiser guy, or you're a sport bike guy, you're gonna hit different pressure points. Uh, the Adventure one is definitely gonna fit more like sport tourers, things like that, upright positions. You can go over all of that on their website. Uh, they've got different models of foam hiding underneath this extremely soft and wicking material. You can see the perforations through the fabric there, helps keep it breathing. I've had zero issues with this sort of, you know, getting super moist, it wicks everything away. Um, it's going to feel super weird when you first put it on. Uh, I will say it kind of feels like you're wearing a diaper, uh, but that goes away once you get on the motorcycle. You don't really realize it, even when you're jumping on and off and getting gas at a gas station or going in for lunch. I don't really notice it until sort of you put it on the next day and um, there it is again, a little sort of foam padding. Um, but again, it's going to hit right on those sit bones, that pressure area. It's gonna enable you to hit a little bit longer day in the saddle than you might normally have. But it also is just the comfort of just knowing that you're not gonna get the swamp butt. Uh, the moisture down there is gonna be handled. Um, there is silver impregnation in here, so you're not gonna get a lot of this sort of funk. Um, this is the only pair of this uh, Moto Skivvies that I've got. Um, I am probably gonna get a second pair just so I can wash and rotate on if I'm doing more of a around the world trip type of thing. But even for weeks at a time, this guy has been plenty. Um, I do wash it uh, probably on a weekly basis, even if I'm on the road for multiple weeks. Uh, there's always opportunity to jump in a river or I've got a, a solution for washing uh, my clothes while I'm on the uh, adventure. And we'll go over that at a later date. But um, super comfortable. I will say that I think the sizing is a little off. So this is an extra large. Um, I tried to double check, but there's no actual tag on here, of course, so you don't have any tags chafing on you. Um, extra large fits me. I'm a 40 waist, 38, 40, depending on what I'm doing. Um, and the waist is totally fine. It's not tight on there, but I will say the sort of room in the, uh, the posterior area, right in the buttocks area, um, it just feels a little bit tight with 
this on here and not tight as in uncomfortable but if i were to say bend over you feel like you're doing the old plumber crack situation well there's just not enough room in the back of the pants and this is going to be a personal fit i probably just have a big butt so uh i may end up going with the double xl down the road and just see what the comparisons are all right guys in conclusion um these things are fantastic now i don't wear them on the sort of just run to the grocery store obviously but weekend week long or multi-week adventure like you've seen on my channel here these are what I've been wearing under my riding pants, under my riding gear. I haven't worn other ones. And um, other than maybe going hiking in British Columbia and, and bringing normal, um, you know, skivvies for that, um, these are hands down, out, definitely worth a try. They're a little bit expensive. They're going to be on the high end. I think they're around 60 bucks, 50, 60 bucks, depending on where you get them. Um, I'll leave the link to their website. And of course, you can go probably on Amazon and, you know, Revzilla and all the usual places. But, um, you know, if you're going to spend almost as much trying to just get a bicycle short to work, if you're trying to put on long days just for comfort, for ease, um, longer days in the saddle, uh, they're definitely worth looking after. And um, again, my only nitpick is just being able to get to your business uh, if you need to uh, do your business on the side of the road. And uh, once you get used to just the feel of having that little extra padding back there, your aces. They are hands down. There's not even a stitch missing on any of these and i've used these for the last two years nothing's like wearing thin there's not even anything that's pulling loose they look practically brand new after two years that is an incredible thing to say and they're extending so now that they've got these going their skivvies they're coming out with socks and a few other things so I'm, i look forward to really trying some of their other gear the guys out there at moto skivvies are super passionate about what they do and they've done the research and this the, you know the technology is there so hands down i'm going to look forward to testing more of their products this has been beast with moto skivvies first time ever underwear review hope you guys enjoyed it check you later